Hey everybody, it's Anna, and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today's video is going to be my most anticipated new releases for April 2020. I'm actually getting like a super jump start on filming this early, like it's March 5th or something as I'm actually filming this, so I don't know when you're gonna see it and when it goes up, but be proud of me for not procrastinating this and leaving it until the last minute. So this is somewhat of a lighter month compared to, say, March and February where we had like overflow lists and everything. So let's go ahead and get into the books that I am anticipating. So the first book that I am anticipating in April, which is coming out on April 7th, is called Conjure Women by Afia Atakora. This is a book that has been compared to the late great Toni Morrison. I know like that's not necessarily going to mean it reads just like her book, but I miss her. So, um, and it is it is about a like multi-generational saga, which I guess is like my favorite buzzword now, um, of these three women and it takes place in the American South both before, during, and after the Civil War. And it is about the bonds between these three women and their community. Their, um, one of them is a healer and then the other one is a reluctant midwife that is uh, wondering whether she should follow in her mother's footsteps. And it just looks like a really interesting story. I kind of like those stories that are about like people's relationships with the community. And it's also by a black author, so that will probably help me with my challenge to myself to read at least 30 books by black authors this year. So, so far, if you're watching this now, I have read 11 books by black authors this year, which I think that's more than half of the books that I had read by black authors for all of the last year. So, aiming to stay on target with that. All right, the next book that we have coming out, ooh, that I'm really excited for, is coming out on April 14th, and it's called A Game of Fox and Squirrels by Jen Reese. I think that I found out about this book through an Uncanny Magazine thing, because I think I looked the author up on Twitter, and I was like, oh, you're coming out with a new book soon. So I will go ahead and read you the synopsis for this. After an incident shatters their family, 11-year-old Samantha and her older sister Caitlin are sent to live in rural Oregon with an aunt they've never met. Sam wants nothing more than to go back to the way things were, before she spoke up about their father's anger. When Aunt Vicky gives Sam a mysterious card game called a game of fox and squirrels, Sam falls in love with the animal characters, especially the charming trickster fox, Ashander. Then one day, Ashander shows up in Sam's room and offers her an adventure and a promise. Find a golden acorn, and Sam can have everything she desires. But the fox is hiding rules that Sam isn't prepared for, and her new home feels more tempting than she'd ever expected. As Sam is swept up in the dangerous quest, the line between magic and reality grows thin. If she makes the wrong move, she'll lose far more than just a game. That sounds really, really good. I think I'm actually going to end up pre-ordering that book because I'm so excited for it and I really want to read it the day that it comes out. Also coming out on March 4th, or sorry, April 14th is Girls Save the World in This One by Ash Parsons. And this is a really badass looking cover that has a group of girls and it says that it is Shaun of the Dead meets Clueless. It is about a group of girls that go to this local like zombie convention in their area, except then actual zombies come out and they said that it was also perfect for fans of Geekerella which I adored. I really am enjoying this like recent spate of books that we have access to that are set at conventions and center around geeky stuff. And as someone that was pretty deep into like the zombie fandom for a while, I'm kind of looking forward to this return to that. Okay, next one that I'm looking forward to coming out on April 21st is Verona Comics by Jennifer Duggan. Okay, so this is going to be a queer contemporary novel about two teenagers that fall in love in an indie comic book store. So here is the synopsis for that. Jubilee has it all together. She's an elite cellist, and when she's not working in her stepmom's indie comic shop, she's prepping for the biggest audition of her life. Ridley is barely holding it together. His parents own the biggest comic store chain in the country, and Ridley can't stop disappointing them. That is, even when they're paying attention. 
They meet one fateful night at a comic convention prom, and the two can't help falling for each other. Too bad their parents are at each other's throats every chance they get, making a relationship between them nearly impossible, unless they manage to keep a secret. Then again, the feud between their families may be the least of their problems. As Ridley's anxiety spirals, Jubilee tries to help, but finds her focus torn between her fast-approaching audition and their intensifying relationship. What if love can't conquer all? What if each of them needs more than the other can give? As you all know, I am a sucker for a Shakespeare retelling, so when I saw two of my favorite things right there in the title, I knew I had to pick this one up. Okay, also coming out on April 21st is In the Role of Brie Hutchins by Nicole Mellaby. And so this is a story about a young queer girl that is going to Catholic school in the eighth grade, and she is about to try and convince her parents to let her switch over to the local performing arts school. But as she's on her way to basically get access to the stuff that is going to um, seal her admittance to the performing arts school, she comes across some secret information and also is dealing with her developing feelings for one of the girls in her class. Obviously, super here for more queer stories, so I'm very much looking forward to that. <clears throat> All right, and the last one that I'm looking forward to that month is All Boys Aren't Blue, A Memoir Manifesto by George M. Johnson. So this is basically a series of personal essays by a queer black man about his growing up and coming of age. He writes about gender identity, um, friendships, toxic masculinity, um, consent, black joy, all of these other things. I'm really excited to read this book. I know that Jesse from Bowties and Books loved it and they got to like meet the author and talk to them about all of the things that went into the creation of this book. Also, it's by a black author. I am looking to read more books by black authors this year, so there's that as well. I'm pretty sure that I'm already on the waiting list for that at my library. Note to future self, uh, go check that out in case you're not. And that is it. Those are all of the books that I'm looking forward to coming out in the month of April. If there are any books or titles that you're looking forward to, leave a comment downstairs and let me know because, as you know, I am always on the lookout for more good reads. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of what I do, go ahead and give this channel a subscribe because that is the best way to find out whenever I post new videos. Um, as always, thank you all so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!